Hey everyone, Peter here. Here in one of the coolest cities on the planet of Earth. One of the most dynamic, mixed up, beautiful, culturally enriching cities. Uh, at least to me, at least to me, I try to come here as much as I can. I love this place, I absolutely love it. And yesterday, my normal two hour flight turned into 28 hours. That's a whole nother story. But I'm here and I'm excited to be here. And this special place is called Istanbul. And the reason I wanna talk about Istanbul today is because 2016 was not its best year. Okay, there were uh, five terrorism attacks. Six, if you count the New Year's attack. 167 people died in total, seven of those being perpetrators of these attacks. Very heinous, gross, disgusting, nasty shit. Uh, anyone with a modicum of sanity uh, does not condone this stuff. So, I'm not trying to belittle uh, these attacks, uh, to say they're not serious, or for anyone that knows someone involved with the attacks, obviously it's very close to home. What I'm trying to do is break down hard, objective numbers on Istanbul. And for those outside of Istanbul thinking of coming here, I want to show you a different perspective. Because the media has been all over this city this year in a negative way. It's shown the fireworks, and there have been a lot of fireworks. And it can paint an image that this place is much different than its reality. So for those interested in coming here, or just interested in getting another perspective, here it is, okay? Um, the USAC, US Department of State, Bureau of Diplomatic Security said last year, despite its population of more than 15 million people, the city is considered one of the safest in the world. Istanbul's overall crime rate remains lower than that of other cities of comparable size, okay? This was written before some of the terrorist attacks. 2015, because of those, those are the most recent numbers, 250 people died here, uh, two, 250 homicides. Um, we had 167 uh, people die in terrorism this last year. So let's just add those numbers together. Cities technically at 14.5 million people, some say 15, sometimes 16, some say 17, but let's just say 14.5 million people. LA County, 2015, 651 people died. That's a population just over 10 million. Chicago, 2015, 468 people killed in Chicago. Chicago proper, that is 2.7 million people. Baltimore, 2016, 344 people killed in Baltimore, 2016. You might say, uh, that's not a ton of people. Wrong, that's a lot of people when you're considering the population of <laughs> 621,000 people. It's a tiny city. Istanbul is 23 times the size of Baltimore and had pretty much the same amount of homicides. Okay, so my point here is, if you look at the numbers, not in an arbitrary way, in a very objective manner, your chances of getting killed in Istanbul are very, very, very slim. Even after this last year, the numbers show and the numbers tell it's, uh, you're more apt, obviously, to get in a car accident. You could probably sit on a toothpick the wrong way and get killed before you're going to get killed in a terrorist attack or through someone murdering you in Istanbul. So if you're interested in this place, a lot of people are, because uh, why wouldn't you be? It's one of the most amazing places on the planet, again, in my opinion. Uh, but if you're interested in Istanbul, don't let these recent events keep you from coming. Uh, if you're on the fence, come. Because, again, it's safer than, I just picked out three US cities. St. Louis is way worse than these numbers even. Um, even this year alone, uh, Chicago had more than 700 homicides. 700, population of 2.7 million people. 
almost twice the amount of homicides in a fraction of the population. So don't watch too much of the news and get hooked on the fireworks that are interesting to watch. They're captivating, but the numbers on the ground tell the truth and the numbers say your risk here of getting involved in anything that has to deal with being murdered is very small. I hope this helps. I hope this helps um, you wanting to come here. Again, heinous shit happened and it will probably continue to happen. Uh, but don't let those flashpoints, those fireworks, make the decision for you. Look at the hard numbers. Okay, until next time.